There's so much more to sushi than fish on rice. Chefs often take hours, sometimes even days, preparing fish fillets and preparing rice. Here's how to fillet a fish. First, the fish is scaled, like with this snapper here, then gutted. The head is removed and the fish is rinsed. It's filleted and finally the skin is separated. Next, uni or sea urchin, what I like to call the ice cream of the sea. First, the urchin's outer shell is broken open. The inner fluids are drained and the insides, the gonads of the sea urchin, are scooped out. Each piece is rinsed in an ice bath, then transferred to a second clean ice bath for another cleaning. The uni is then dried and transferred to another container for serving. Here's how you smoke a fish. One of the oldest techniques for preserving fish is to smoke it over a fire. This can be done over the stove using wood shavings and salt. Raw fish fillets are laid over the grill and covered for two to three minutes. Once the outside of the fish appears cooked, note inside it will still be raw, it's then shocked in an ice bath so the flesh stops cooking. Sometimes a chef will quickly blanch a piece of fish so that when the fish is marinated in a soy-based sauce, its color won't fade. Here, a piece of raw lean tuna is dipped in boiling water. Then the fish is shocked in an ice bath. Finally, the tuna is marinated in zuke, a sauce made from soy, mirin, and water. Most commonly though, tuna is served raw. Since one tuna can weigh up to 850 pounds, and sometimes even more, usually sushi restaurants will buy individual cuts instead of the entire fish. The most common cuts are lean, or akami, medium fatty, or chutoro, and fatty, otoro. However, smaller fish like saba, also known as mackerel, and sayori, or hafik, can be filleted easily in-house, as we already saw. These fish are also salted for varying amounts of time based on the species. That's because they have oilier flesh, and salt draws out excess water from the fish, thereby removing some of its fishy flavor. While you may love or hate the eye-watering bite of wasabi, many restaurants don't serve the real deal. But when you come across a chef who serves fresh wasabi root, note that he'll grate it on a swatch of shark skin to yield a light green condiment that adorns many pieces of nigiri. Last, but certainly not least, is rice, sushi's most integral component. After cooking in a rice steamer, a chef seasons his or her rice with a proprietary recipe of vinegar, sugar, and salt. The rice is then stored in a large wooden vessel which keeps it warm. Sushi rice needs to be perfectly cooked and served at body temperature. Finally, a chef presses a small handful of rice into a rectangular shape, adds a piece of fish anointed with wasabi, and it's time to eat. If you'd like to see more sushi, click here. Thank you so much for having me here at Sushi Zoo. I'm so excited about this experience.